Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video we're going to be taking a look and reviewing Oxygen version 4.0. And Oxygen has been around for a while now. Uh, our agency has been using Oxygen Builder for several years, and this fourth version comes after 3.9. Uh, we've been in the threes for several years now, I believe. And 4.0 comes with several changes that I'm going to walk through in this video, take a look at what was changed, how it was changed, and how it is better than previous versions. So I'm going to give you my thoughts about all of these changes and how they impact you as a website creator. So Oxygen 4.0 is a very UI focused update. And what this means is version 3.9 looks a lot different than version 4.0. However, 3.9 and 4.0 work very similarly. There weren't many massive feature changes. Uh, instead, we have a new UI and we have quality of life and workflow enhancements and a couple other big changes. And you can see them down here. The headlining feature here is the new UI. However, now we're using JSON instead of short codes to store data. Um, so pages, posts, templates, the actual elements and styling of the elements, that data is now stored as JSON instead of short codes. And the short codes were just PHP serialized data. Now we're using JSON. JSON loads faster. I don't believe this will impact the front end loading time of your website, but it will impact the back end loading time of the builder as data from JSON can just be accessed quicker than short code data, which means the back end will load quicker. And I've been using Oxygen 4.0 for uh, probably several months now from the betas. And there's a noticeable difference in the back end loading time of the builder, which was a big gripe for many people. The back end loading time of the builder was just too slow in version 3.9. Now in 4.0, it's a lot quicker. Um, there are also a ton of different bug fixes and tweaks, and I'll show you some of them in this back end walkthrough. The biggest change, the biggest tweak or enhancement, in my opinion, is now repeaters do not have duplicate IDs. And I will talk about that more once we get to the back end walkthrough. Um, but you can see this is the headline. We have an overhauled builder UI. They redid this. It's a lot quicker and easier to use. I prefer it. It looks to be inspired by some of those third party plugins like Swiss Knife and Recoda. And they took that inspiration and they took that community feedback and said, let's internalize this. Let's put some of these features directly into the core builder. And I believe that this makes it so more and more people don't need to go and purchase third party add ons. They can only use Oxygen as a core plugin to build websites and have a good time while doing it. Um, I think in the past, uh, a lot of people, specifically professional builders, felt the need to go and purchase plugins like Hydrogen Pack and Swiss Knife and Oxy Extras and all of this. Now I think that with these changes, and I believe the direction of 4.0 in general is kind of bringing more features internally, which means that people won't need to go out and actually purchase uh, expensive third-party plugins. Um, there are additional easy changes, uh, making workflow just quicker and simpler, powerful enhancements um, to the class and ID selectors. This is super helpful, and this was a feature of many uh, third-party plugins, and now it's been added to the builder. The backend performance is a lot quicker, and I'll show you that in a few moments. Um, they changed the way images work. Previously, we were uh, by default loading images from URLs. Now we use the media library, which allows us to select the actual image size of medium or thumbnail or something like that, which means we can minimize the page size uh, and optimize for front end speed. There are keyboard shortcuts. We no longer need Hydrogen Pack or Swiss Knife to duplicate, undo, redo, copy, paste, save, and delete. However, we do still need these third-party plugins to have keyboard shortcuts to easily add sections and images and also have a right-click menu, which Oxygen still has not added. It'll probably come one of these days. Um, finally, it's PHP 8 compatible, which is another issue that we've seen over the past couple of months. There were many big hosts that essentially forced people to update to version 8, which broke Oxygen. Now Oxygen works with version 8, so you can safely and comfortably up update your PHP version, which comes with its own speed benefits and enhancements. And I would update PHP from 7 to 8 because 
the speed enhancements really are there. All right, now let's hop into the back end of the website. We can see that I just loaded Oxygen 4.0 into this demo site, um, and I have all of these notices saying the breakpoints have changed. Um, we now change the way repeater elements are styled. I need to regenerate Oxygen CSS to render that correctly. Um, and we're now using JSON instead of WordPress shortcodes. Please sign the shortcodes, which will convert them into JSON. There's backwards compatibility, uh, so it's actually storing both JSON and shortcodes from what I've seen, uh, but it's reading data from the shortcodes, which is just much quicker uh, and easier to use. And I'll show you what that looks like momentarily. The back end settings panel is essentially the same as 3.0, and I'm not really complaining because it works, it does its job, and it does it well. Um, now let's take a look at kind of what this interface for a specific page looks like. So I threw together a quick demo page and I'll show you the builder in a second. But this is what the oxygen panel within Gutenberg looks like. Uh, you can see it looks very similar to 3.9. It's a little bit darker. It has a couple different uh, changes and additions such as now we're using tool tips and now we have uh, just a kind of more refined look. And you'll see that this is, is something that's reflected in all changes to the builder. Here's the actual data. So this is the previous way data was stored. Um, and you can see we essentially have, here's our section where, where we have an oxygen section. And within that oxygen section, we have a bunch of more elements. And here's the styles and content associated with that section. Um, so this is how it was previously stored. Now it's stored as a JSON. Um, so it's just faster and easier and better. And you can actually see kind of how everything works here. Um, and in my opinion, this JSON format's pretty cool because you can actually go and unminify minify the JSON and make changes on your own. And I feel like this will help a lot of third party elements and builders and generators create oxygen specific elements easily. Like you can see right here, this is a text block. The ID for the text block is 12. The parent of the text block is nine, which is the section or the div that surrounds it. Here's the content. Here's some, uh, here's some styling information, stuff like that. Much more readable, much easier. And I really, I really like this change. This is a great change that, that, uh, I'm, I'm definitely here for it. So that's the Jason versus short code, big change here. Once we load the Oxygen Builder editor, we get in and we see, look, here is the new 4.0 editor. It looks a little bit different. Um, let me see if I can get rid of that top. There we go. It looks a little bit different, but it works pretty much the same as 3.9. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to use. You can see now our top element or top bar in Oxygen is a little bit more refined. We have all of our breakpoints visible to us immediately, which makes it easier to design responsively. Uh, we have tool tips for each of these buttons instead of labels in the builder. Our structure panel looks very similar. It has a couple of new features. And in my opinion, I think it's easier to drag and drop around. Um, so it's, it's relatively easy for me to make those changes. I think this is an improvement from 3.9. Uh, they've also added the ability to just double click and change the title to hero one. Um, and, and we, we did this with oxygen's third party, a uh, third party add on for oxygen called hydrogen pack. Um, and we've been kind of changing these since the start, but I think renaming these sections and changing these sections to actually be descriptive of what they contain makes it a lot easier when developing bigger websites to to understand what's going on. So I'll just quickly throw something in there. Um, you can see that the actual styling, if you're comparing the Oxygen 3.0, is relatively similar. Um, you can see everything is basically the same here. Um, there's no major workflow changes in terms of how to actually style and how to actually add elements. I think it's just easier to do. You can see that this new image change we now just default to the media library, uh, which means I can select the sizes of the image once I've loaded the image. Um, and we just have a couple additional uh, features for essentially speed and optimization of the page. 
Um, and again, everything is really giving us the same options as we've always had with oxygen, but it's just easier and quicker to use. Um, so that's our structure panel, history, everything here is the same. Uh, keyboard shortcuts, I just did Command S and I saved the page as opposed to going here and clicking. Uh, and just inspiration from some more third-party add-ons in the form of a menu and, and all that. So this change is very welcome and I'm a big fan of uh, kind of these basic small tiny workflow tweaks and it really shows that the people who develop oxygen uh, really listen to the community um, there are a lot of changes that people want with oxygen and we got a lot of those changes in version 4.0 and here's that class demo uh, that we saw you can see that it says styled via ID and there's a little blue section there this is again native oxygen now and it shows oh the text color i styled it in the section maybe i want to move this to our demo class and it will show me now the background color is still styled by the id but the text color is now styled by the class and it just makes things just easier and quicker to understand so that's kind of the new workflow with oxygen the new ui i'm a big fan of it i really like it i think it makes things just easier and, and simpler to use and it also makes it so more and more people won't need to go and purchase third-party add-ons i do think still that if you are a professional website creator you'll want to purchase hydrogen for the additional keyboard shortcuts and features that it adds you'll probably want to pick up swiss knife and recoda and oxy extras and all that but i think it opens the door for more people to just not need to purchase these add-ons if they don't want to um, the final thing i want to cover is the long-awaited uh, repeater fix so an oxygen builder repeater is probably the best element that this builder has to offer and we've Ever since we essentially discovered it as an agency after switching into Oxygen, we use this to create incredibly dynamic and fluid layouts for our clients. We can even throw sections into a repeater uh, and use ACF to allow the client to build the own page in the Gutenberg interface. Um, and we can get really complicated with it, but essentially what it does is it takes data and displays it on the front end of the page. So in this situation, I'm using a repeater to show all my blog posts and the titles of those blog posts uh, on the front end of the website. In the past, the repeater would repeat a div that wraps the content. So here's our div, there's another div here, there's another div here. This div, unfortunately, had the ID repeated for each instance of it. And that is not best practice. It's not good for SEO. It's not good for styling things. And this was the case of, uh, this had always been the case since Oxygen Builder 2.0. And the negative here is if I have a repeating ID, it, it removes the uh, uniqueness of an ID. And that's the one of the core components of uh, using CSS with HTML. Each HTML element should have a unique ID. You can reuse classes as much as you want, but you shouldn't reuse the IDs. And in the past, it was saying the same ID for each instance of the block. Now, Oxygen fixed it. And they also made it so when you upgrade from 3.9 to 4.0, all styles associated with this will automatically be converted into this new format without you needing to change anything. One thing to note is if you reference that ID to style any element in custom code, any repeater element in custom code, in that situation, then you'll have to make changes manually. But other than that, you won't. And here's what I'm talking about in the actual front end demo of this code. We can see that here's our dynamic list of all our posts. And within that dynamic list, we have divs repeating and showing each post uh, and the content within. Um, and then here's our div ID. So the first div has an ID of dash one. Now the second one has dash two and the third one has dash three and so on and so forth. This is incredible. This is awesome. In the past, it would have been ID div block 28 dash eight for each one of these. Now there's a dash number of the instance. 
And this number one makes it very easy to style specific instances of a div, but it also just is better for SEO and it now follows best practices for HTML and CSS. Massive change that many people may or may not really care about. In my, in my situation, I really care about this because we've built a lot of dynamic blogs and this has just been an issue uh, for us in regards to SEO and styling and all of that. Okay, so that's really the main walkthrough of all the changes and uh, variations that we now see on Oxygen 4.0 compared to 3.9. I'm a big fan of this this update, and I think that this update is kind of pushing in the direction that Oxygen needs to be going. Uh, I think that for many people, they felt like they needed to purchase third-party add-ons. And with this focus on UI enhancements and ease of use and keyboard shortcuts, I think we're moving in the right direction and making it available to more people and not having them purchase third-party add-ons because they do add up. And if you're not a professional developer uh, building with Oxygen, if you're somebody who just wants to create one or two websites personally, um, this is a great, great improvement for you. So those are all the changes. I'd love to know what you think about uh, this new version 4.0 of Oxygen um, in the comments below. Uh, and we're going to be doing a lot more content on 4.0. We're actually releasing a course which will be linked down in the description below on Oxygen. Um, this is a complete fully featured course that will bring you from start to finish, including many advanced topics. And the link down below will lead you to a course waitlist sign up. The course will be out in a few months. Um, it's taken a while to record because it needs to be good and actually offer value. And that's exactly what it will do. So if you're interested in that course, go check it out below. We have a Facebook group. A lot of people talk about oxygen there. Feel free to join the Facebook group linked in the description below. And we have an isotropic blog where we publish a ton of Oxygen Builder content and have been doing so for around three years now. So I invite you to check that out and take a look there too. All right, those are my thoughts. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.